Mr. President, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear participants of the Arctic Circle, uh, certainly because I'm a very uh, big supporter of open discussion and, and dialogue, I, I feel my position a little bit awkward to, to uh, finish that uh, uh, promising discussion. But uh, we thought that it is exactly the right place, right time, to uh, introduce an effort which has started only about one and a half years ago. An effort where you uh, try to uh, find out, do you try to uh, assess uh, the international political processes and forces which are happening in the Arctic region today. Because the Arctic region seems to be in a constant transformation, geopolitically, economically, culturally, and indeed environmentally. The Arctic Yearbook seeks to identify, assess, and critically analyze both historical context and contemporary issues in a way to better understand and discuss on the state of Arctic geopolitics. Uh, the Arctic Yearbook is an inter international and interdisciplinary peer-reviewed publication dedicated to the analysis of Arctic politics, Arctic geopolitics, northern security, and global issues relevant in the entire North. The Arctic Yearbook provides a platform for authors to evaluate from a critical perspective the debates and issues being discussed both in the circular world by its multi, multiple stakeholders and in a broader international and global context by several actors from outside the region. Uh, its audience is composed not only of researchers, university teachers and students, but also decision makers, planners, strategists, journalists and indigenous representatives. The Arctic Yearbook Dance. is an online uh, volume published by the Northern Research Forum and University of the Arctic Thematic Network on Geopolitics and Security, and designed and hosted by Arctic Portal. It is an open access format, in its open access format, it promotes the dissemination of knowledge through the maximization of information technology. Final, the Arctic Yearbook drew in scholarly articles and insight, insightful commentaries has innovatively brought together scholars and stakeholders to share through this open access platform their respective, respective viewpoints on how Arctic futures are shaping. This intellectual capital is the driving force of the Arctic Yearbook, which hopefully gives a positive message to established academic institutions. It is in our view possible to argue and conclude that today's Arctic, there are two perspectives or influential uh, forces that are at the same time impacting the region and its environment, development and resource politics and shaping Arctic geopolitics, northern security, and circular relations. First, regionalism, regionalization, and region building. And second, globalization and flows of globalization. This was uh, the main reason why we decided to have uh, the team of the 2013 year Arctic Yearbook uh, the Arctic of regions versus the globalized Arctic. However, we think that there is a dualism between these two uh, uh, forces. 
between these two different phenomena. And we believe in that uh, this dualism is a fruitful way to avoid potential conflicts and concentrate on real issues of the Arctic, such as climate change, development, and utilization of natural resources, meaning how do you do that? Consequently, the substantial uh, scientific articles and policy-oriented commentaries of this year's uh, Arctic Yearbook, they are uh, discussing on these two issues. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and honor on behalf of the editors and the editorial board to launch the 2013 Arctic Yearbook with the title The Arctic of Regions versus the Globalist Arctic. The volume includes 17 scholarly articles by 20 researchers, 12 commentaries by policymakers, uh, three briefing notes by young researchers, and preface, introduction, and highlights of the year 2013. Altogether, 380. Five pages. So we'd just like to take the opportunity to acknowledge today the academic authors for their thought-provoking articles and our commentators for their insight into the Arctic. And many of these are uh, present here today. Uh, also our reviewers for their constructive feedback on the academic articles. I want to thank President Grimson, not for hosting, uh, but for the preface that he offered in the Arctic Yearbook on the Arctic House Rules. Uh, and also the editorial board members for their ongoing guidance. And this collaborative dialogue between science and policymakers and policy shapers, which is tested and further developed in new kinds of academic platforms for interdisciplinary discussions, such as here at Arctic Circle, will continue to drive the work of the Arctic Yearbook in the years to come. Finally, this is a volunteer initiative, and so I'd like to thank uh, Nordregio for their map development, TD Bank and Dorset Fine Arts for their beautiful cover image here by the artist Pitsuola Kimipik and the Arctic Portal for their invaluable graphic design and web hosting, which was all contributed in kind. Last but not least, it's, uh, as the editor of the yearbook, it's my pleasure to acknowledge uh, my co-managing editors, Heather exner Piero and Charles Plough, who couldn't make it, without whom and their hard work this wouldn't be possible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please visit the Arctic Yearbook website, search for interesting articles, and enjoy your readings. Of course, not during the plenaries and breakout sessions of the Arctic Circle, but in between and after. Thank you.